today we are celebrating spring with spring rolls, but not your classic spring rolls. Oh no, no, no. We're going to do some sweet spring rolls in the form of banana spring rolls. How is it done? Very easily, that is how. Uh, should we get cracking? All right then, let's go. We're going to grab some phyllo pastry. Now, go to the shops and buy some shop-bought phyllo pastry. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to cut them in half because we don't actually need that much for each individual banana. Oh, wow, that's satisfying. And then we're going to take one phyllo sheet. Oh, no. We're, yeah, we're going to take one phyllo sheet. Sorry. <laughs> and we're going to lay it down in front of us. What we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a banana. And you're going to take half of your banana for now because of the curve of the banana doesn't make it easy to wrap. So let's take half our banana and then we're basically going to sit that at the base and the centre of our phyllo pastry. We're going to sit it on a bed of carnation caramel. That's right. Oh my gosh. So another lovely little addition is the use of Chinese five spice. So I'm just going in with a small pinch of five spice on top of our caramel. Then we lay down our banana and then we're going to roll it up like a spring roll. Now the way you go about this is by doing a full rotation first. And then once you've done a full rotation, you're going to bring the sides in. This way it's going to seal itself. And then we're going to continue rolling. We're going to get a little bowl of water. Good preparation, Katie. Wet the seam of the phyllo. And there you have it. Super simple, a little sweet banana spring roll. Now this is going to take a seat and we're going to carry on with the rest of our bananas. Whilst we carry on making our bananas, you want to pop a pan onto a medium heat and you're going to use sunflower oil and we are going to shallow fry these. So you want half a centimetre of sunflower oil into our pan and we're just going to let that warm through. And I'll carry on making some more bananas. Yeah? Yeah. So we're just going to check that our oil is ready to fry. And actually, I'm just going to use our little, little pinch of our cinnamon. Cinnamon, five spice. If it starts to kind of fuzz and dance, then we know that our um, oil is at a very happy frying temperature. I'm going to place them down seam side first so they'll get a nice solid seal on there. And then we're going to give them a few minutes on one side. Once they're nice and golden, flip them over. going to pop them on some kitchen towel just to take off some of that excess oil and then we're going to serve up. Are you ready to tuck in? Oh my god. That's like one of the best things I've ever made. The banana has softened and gone playfully squidgy with a gorgeous sweet layer of caramel. A crunchy crispy phyllo. I really hope you give these a go because they're so easy and so good. Guys, if you like this recipe, then please do subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from here every single Tuesday. And don't forget to leave me a comment in the box below if there's a recipe that you want to see on this channel. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye! <gasps> really seriously. For real. Come on. Stop it.